PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana and uh, PWCC did it again. I had fantastic results. Uh, if you guys missed it, go back uh, maybe six, five, six, seven days ago and check out my video. I sold uh, 20,000 plus, uh, if I recall, in the PWCC weekly auction number 113. Today's video, I sold 20 uh, items in PWCC Weekly number 114, which ended on Sunday, March 24th. I am going to just show you the first 10 on here. We're going to look at every single card. I am as transparent as it gets. I'm going to show you what they sold for, what my net was, and we're going to look at the data for the first 10 cards starting at the top and working our way down. I was extremely pleased once again with the results uh, of my sales on the PWCC Weekly. And again, uh, you know, check out the YouTube description, message me on Instagram. Uh, if you're interested in selling on PWCC Weekly auction like the cards that you see me selling here today, use the promo code CAJUN. That's the only way that I get money off this channel is by you guys doing uh, the uh, enumerated things listed in the YouTube description on each one of these videos namely selling cards or buying cards on PWCC. That's primarily uh, my uh, the only financial support that I get for doing the channel because I don't take the YouTube money. I don't charge a subscription fee. I don't have a private list where you have to pay to be on it to see certain videos. I don't do any of that stuff, no Patreon. So uh, buying and selling on PWCC is sort of how I get paid in, uh, to do what I'm doing. So uh, let's look at them. I sold 20 cards. I'm gonna switch you over. There ain't no secrets here. There you go. 20 cards sold 8,310 <coughs> is my cut uh, and let's start with a card everybody's going to recognize and love if you guys uh, had paid attention to the cross country collection you guys would know I actually uh, graded and received a duplicate copy of this really really miserable pop card of the the 1995 hoops number crunchers number one not a rare card at all not a high-end Jordan insert but as you can see it's a four-figure sale in PSA 10 so uh, again just to reiterate this column right here that's the actual final bid there is a 20% buyers premium that gets tacked on to that sales price for a total sale and then the seller anybody who sells on PWCC gets a percentage of that 20% buyers premium as well so when you take the 875 and you multiply it by 1.20 you will see that that card uh, sold for uh, $1,260 on PWCC uh, I'm sorry there uh, I've got oh I've got this sorted by price there's mine right there I'm very sorry so 1050 was my final sales price on PWCC and uh, my cut is uh, $910 but let's go back and this is what I always like to look at I've got this sorted that's the second highest price anyone has ever paid for a 1995 hoops number crunchers Michael Jordan PSA 10 I can't complain about that. That is an unbelievable result. If we go look at date sold, uh, there's my sale for 1,050. The sales before me, 805, 866. There's the record, 910. And then you gotta go all the way back to, uh, that's a mistake. You go all the way back to 610. So second highest price ever sold for Hoops Number Crunchers. It's a duplicate for me. I'll take that all day long on that 95 Hoops number crunchers. That's card number one. That's a win, right? Card number two, we've got this Shaq. It's a 2004. Don't ask me why I own this card. 2004, I just thought it was good looking. Bought it a while back, years ago. Uh, I'm probably upside down on it, but there's nothing I can do about that now. So let's see what I can get out of it. 2004, Fleer, EXL, Shaq, Jambalaya, uh, PSA 9 with Shaq flexing the massive biceps. That's a pop two card, only one graded higher. Uh, here's the sales history of this card. It's only sold twice ever. Sold for 420 back in uh, November of 2020. I got over a grand for this card, uh, which I think is a huge win. Uh, that nets me $884 from that total sales price. So I consider that a huge win as well because that's a card that means nothing to me. As you guys know, 
I got out of my Shaquille O'Neal collection to push further into the Michael Jordan hierarchy cards that I do not already own. And that's kind of where we stand today and how I'm collecting. 1995 Metal Slick Silver PSA 10. This is card number three. Beautiful copy of this card. No yellowing, obviously. Great picture. Uh, this should be an easy card to find. It's in the card ladder database. Here are the most recent sales. This is mine right here. You can see it on your screen. Mine sold for $900 on Sunday with PWCC. The sale before that, eight. 10 the sale before that 855 the sale before that 787 back in march um uh, what is that about two weeks ago we did have a 1050 dollar sale but i think that might have been mine also to be honest with you uh then we've got a 644 812 750 so you're talking about a card that hasn't sold uh for more than 1050 uh in the last three months and I go 900, that's the second highest sale out of the last 12 sales over the last 90 days. Win, 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 again, my net is 780. Moving on, now we're getting a couple of rare cards. As you guys know, I kind of jumped into some prism green stuff years and years ago. This is probably pre-pandemic even, if I can recall, I'm not really sure, uh, but it's been a while. Uh, but I recognize those greens were super rare, even more rare than the silvers, which everybody loves and covets so much. So this Shaq, P, uh, Prism Green 2012 First Year Panini Prism is a pop three in PSA 10. What did it sell for? <laughs> there it is. The total sale was 810. Uh, nothing really to go from here. The last time this card sold uh, was a finalist. That's not even the same card. That's an insert. That's an insert. Uh, that's a crusade. So that might be the only sale ever of this card. I like 810. I'll take it because I get 702 of that. It's in my PWCC account already because it's been paid for and I'm already reinvesting that money into Jordan stuff. So uh, you'll see, you're not going to see very many Jordans in here unless they're duplicates. In fact, you won't see any Jordans in here unless they're duplicates for me. I'm going to recycle this money and move it back into the Jordan. And then I am pushing into the soccer card market in a very measured way. And I'll talk a little bit more about that on a video coming out real soon where I just kind of give you guys a snapshot of what I'm doing in the, yes, you heard me right, soccer card market. Yes, I know that's a a uh, pretty substantial detour from the 90s basketball Michael Jordan world, but uh, there is a, a method to this madness, and I'll explain it in a future uh, soccer confession video that you guys will see where you're going to have to listen to me talk about soccer cards and or just X out of the video and not listen. 2012 Bird, another green prism, PSA 10. That is a pop one, and this one did a great number. 720. Uh, I can't remember if this was me, but this card sold for 404. Obviously, there's only one of them, so it sold for 404. I got 720. Uh, a card going up from 2021 to 2024, in my opinion, by that much is a humongous win. So great sale on the Bird finalist there. And then this is the one that really surprised me, and this is where I am really uh, excited excited uh, about this sale. It's the 2003 Topps paper, right? This is the Topps paper, number 221 LeBron. It's a BGS 9.5, and no, don't shoot the messenger. I did not get the card graded with no subgrades, right? This was um, my original card that I pulled out of a pack in the year 2023. That's 21 years ago. Young Cajun, relatively young Cajun, pulled it out of a Topps pack and got it graded. And back then, as you can see, BGS put the subgrades where? On the back of the card. There they are. This is a men gem card. It doesn't have the subs on the front. Nobody likes that. It's just the way it is. And so you're thinking, this is not going to do real well, to be quite honest with you. At auction, people are just going to see there's no subs, and they're just going to keep scrolling, not even taking the time to look to see that the subs are on the back. But guess what? Here's my sale. Six ninety. dollars uh, Eight days ago on eBay, another BGS 9.5. Remember, mine's a men gem, too. Six sixty one. dollars Before that, six thirty. dollars Before that, there is a seven sixty, dollars which is great. Six seventy. dollars 75, 669. So I did fantastic. Here's what the chart looks like. There's my sale right there, 690. That's great. I'm all about it, man. There's the chart. Uh, 690 puts me in definitely in the top third of the sales, the 21 sales over the last three months. Very happy with it. I won't tell you how much that car was worth about two or three years ago, but uh, all we can control is what we sell them for today. So that's another huge win. So, so far, I'm uh, all wins across the board, one through six or seven or however many we've looked at. But just wait, because I'm just getting started. It's not just PSA 10s. It's not just gems. 
How about a 1995 Skybox Premium Meltdown? This is a card anybody and everybody should recognize. Monster Jordan card, really tough to grade. PSA 8 copy, I do own a PSA 10, so it's out with the 8, and I'm gonna hang on to my 10. I'll push this PSA 8 money into some Jordan stuff I don't have. That's kind of the whole method to this thing, right? Check this chart out. Here's the last one year. It's sold 34 times in PSA 8s. The average sale price is 413. Guess what mine sold for? 630 on PWCC. So um, again, are there enough eyeballs? You tell me. Uh, 630, that is a massive, massive sale. That is a huge jump. And I know we're only talking about a few hundred bucks, but to jump from 475, 475, 468 to 630 is just plain freaking awesome. So uh, I'm happy about that. I netted 546. Going back to the chart, I mean, guys, I netted more, way more than any gross sale over the last 90 days. My, um, over the last one year, my net, the, the, after auction fees, after the PWCC auction fees is greater than any gross sale of this card over the last year. Uh, that's a huge number. And by the way, I might be crazy, but I think, ooh, so close. This is the fourth highest sale ever of this card is what it looks like, one, two, three, Fourth highest sale ever, but not by much, 630. Uh, the highest it's ever sold for is 681. How many cards are breaking records right now in uh, the card market? Not many, but this one pushed it. It came close. Soaring Stars PSA 10, another card everybody should be familiar with. Shame on you if you're not. It's a hierarchy card. It's beautiful. I think it's undervalued. I stacked a bunch of these 10s. So I think I had four or five or six of these 10s that I bought way back when. The Jordan market's moving. The PSA 10s are moving moving so even though I'm a collector I've got a hoard and a stash of these things it's time to let one of them go and so here we are pop 182 this is what the chart looks like over the last three months uh, the last one sold this I think is somehow I slipped through the cracks something terrible happened right there I don't know what happened there it sold on eBay maybe Something's wrong. I don't know, but it sold for two hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, mine sells for four ninety two. Uh, but if we go back and let's start at the two twenty, because that's kind of weird. This is about the third out of seven sales, so not record breaking, not earth shattering. But uh, over the last six months, that's the third highest sale out of the last thirteen over the last year. That is the third highest sale over the last twenty two sales over the last two years. That is the sixth highest sale out of the last 43 sales. Uh, if we look again, going back to the last three months, you're talking about an average of 427, and my net on this is 426. So I am netting, netting into my PWCC account 100% of the average gross sale price. <coughs> Two more cards left. 1990, or maybe I think it's two. 1996 Bowman's Best Shots Atomic PSA 8. I did pick up the PSA 10, which I was thrilled about because Atomics are a bitch to find in the hierarchy. They are very low pop and very hard pack odds. And uh, and this one sold um, a PSA 8 Atomic sold for. Uh, there you go, $432. That still seems too cheap to me, uh, but I'm just recycling money at this point. The sales before this card, right? Mine's 432, so up from the last one, down from the one before it, down from the one before it, up from that one, up from that one, uh, down from that one, down from that one, up from that one. So, okay, I mean, maybe I hit a single, maybe I hit a double. I, I mean, you know, I'm netting four. Uh, $374 on that PSA 8 Bowman's uh, best shots. We'll call it a push, right? We'll call that one a push. So amongst many, many, many wins, we've got one push so far. And then the Stockton, I, I, you know, this is a kind of an old label PSA. It's an 88 Fleer Stockton. This card's been taking a beating lately. This one I actually did poorly on. This is actually the worst sale. Like I said, I'm going to share everything with you. This is the worst sale over the last three months. So this Stockton did not do well. And that's sort of part of a declining Stockton market it looks like or maybe I'm the reason it's declining uh, but this card was as high as 545 it sold as low as 408 mine sells for 390 so bad sale there worst out of the last 24 sales so uh, not a good result there here's just a look I didn't pull all these up because the video is going to get too long and it's just me talking about my cards but I moved out of this uh, Drew Holiday because I've honestly started to not really like him as a player his offense is so bad that it almost overshadowed
shadows how good his defense is. I know he's shooting the three well, but uh, he kind of sunk the bucks the last two years. And to be honest with you, I'm just going to sell his card out of spite. Uh, so sold out. Give me 350 bucks instead of Drew Holiday. Uh, I did decide to move out of some of my second year color Giannis. Horrible timing. I am quite certain I am upside down on these cards. I didn't look them up in Card Ladder. You guys can do that if you want, but sold the blue. 343 net sold the silver 333 net uh, sold a Michael Jordan platinum portraits. Let's go ahead and look this up because I am curious. I didn't look this one up. 96 metal platinum portraits PSA eight. I netted 302. Let me see if this is um, 1996 platinum Jordan. Is this even going to be in the? Uh, no. Let's do this. Let's move it into sales history. Let's cut it. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's put it in. Let's paste it. Let's put PSA 8 and let's see what happens here. Uh, is this mine? That's mine. So 348. Oh, gee, what do you know? 348, 303, 206, 262, 314, 235, 300, 307, 290, 285, 300, 272. Is that a win? Am I crazy? 348? What's the highest price ever paid? 560. Uh, 21, 21, 21, 20, 21, 22, 22, 23, 21, 23, 21. This is the highest price paid for this card in the year 2024. So I'm still taking that as a win. I don't care what anybody says. So 302 into my pocket. That's nice. Moved out of the hoops, David Robinson rookie. Moved out of a Giannis stained glass that really just didn't mean much to me. Moved out of this pretty rare Giannis uh, 2015 Prism Light Blue number to 199. Um, this one I thought probably could have done better. I didn't look, but that doesn't seem to be very good. But people don't like those die cuts from 2014 Prism. I think they're cool, but... Uh, I moved to some color Giannis. I moved to Giannis Hoops Redback Rookie. Uh, that card is really undervalued, and I probably would rather have the card than the 161, but I'm really impatient, and uh, and I'm keeping my Giannis Prism Rookie Rainbow 9.5 Rainbow going here, um, but I've decided to move out of some other Giannis stuff. So all in all, you're talking about 20 cards sold. That's 8,310 bucks that I can use to go play in the Jordan market, to go play in the soccer card market, that's a win for me. Uh, again, I like to share what I'm doing in my collecting with you guys without any frills or BS or just mistruths. Um, right now, I am buying heavily in the soccer card market, only certain cards, which I'll talk about a little bit more on this channel moving forward, and you'll see some of that stuff in soccer-specific mail days. Uh, so if you love basketball, you won't have to watch my soccer videos. But again, I just wanted to show you guys another example of how cards are doing, you know, certain cards, not all cards. PWCC Weekly is not the place to put certain cards. I am gonna be the first one to admit that. Uh, there are cards I would never send to the PWCC Weekly auction. If it's a Game of Thrones autograph, or some kind of super rare, um, you know, obscure card of an obscure player. It's not the place for it. Go put it on eBay and don't auction it. Just put it eBay, buy it now, and you'll get the whole world looking at it eventually. <coughs> but if you've got a card that you know is not going to get overlooked, uh, a Giannis, a Jordan, a Kobe, a Vince, a Steph, a LeBron, uh, you know, I'm, I'm talking all basketball here, but you get the point. A Messi, a Ronaldo, you know, uh, you know a uh, Julio Rodriguez, a Joe Burrow, etc. PWCC Weekly Auction is a great option. The only thing I'd ask of you guys, if you like the channel, if you want to support the channel, please consider using the promo code CAJUN, C-A-J-U-N. You can even go into your vault right now and assign the promo code CAJUN to any of your cards in your PWCC vault that are already there if you intend to move them over into the weekly auction. If you assign the promo code CAJUN to your cards on a submission or right now in your vault, then I'll get a little fractional piece of PWCC's money. Doesn't change your purchase price. Doesn't seem your say, change your seller net. I'll get a little chunk of that to support this channel because I am an affiliate partner with PWCC. I want to be very clear. I am very biased towards PWCC. I I am a huge proponent of PWCC. I have a vested financial interest in um, sharing my experiences with PWCC. But the one thing I don't do is I ain't lying. I am showing you the cards that I sold. I am showing you what they sold for. I'm showing you how easy it is to sell the cards. In fact, I just put a bunch more Shaq cards into PWCC Weekly Auction number 116. So I've got a lot of cards coming up in these PWCC Weekly Auctions. Not every card belongs in there, but Shaq and Jordan, 
their damn cards are moving and so it's time to sell and it took me uh, these 20 cards it took me probably 90 seconds to move these cards into the weekly auction number 114 no listing no shipping no receiving payment no uh, you know buying bubble mailers no creating cardboard sandwiches no painters tape no penny sleeves no top loaders no hey pwcc click 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 apply all weekly auction 114 i agree to the terms submit done over finished and then i just wake up on monday morning and see what they sold for and then i pull up these card ladder things and i share it with uh with the great viewers of this channel so if you don't mind considering supporting the channel you can sell with the promo code cage in all caps you can use my affiliate link just copy and paste it into your browser and if you're buying on pwcc then a little chunk of everything you buy and again it doesn't affect your bottom line a little chunk of everything you buy if you use my cajun cardboard affiliate link to purchase on pwcc comes back to support the channel as well uh it is growing it is working and uh it's kind of the only way that i make money doing this and so uh it is you know it, it kind of helps me to continue doing this it is fun i am learning a lot i would probably do it for free in fact i did it for free for a little over two years so uh but it is nice to get a little bit of money in return because it's more jordans i can buy which means more mail days which means more jordan content which means more soon to be soccer content and uh and some fun stuff like that so again i'm rambling thank you guys for watching uh, if you have any questions about pwcc find me on instagram cajun underscore cardboard i'm happy to answer any questions if I don't have an answer, I don't guess, right? That's one thing I learned a long time ago in law school as a lawyer, as a practicing lawyer. I don't guess. If I don't have an answer to your question, I will put you in touch with someone at PWCC who can answer your question. If I know the answer to your question, I'll gladly answer the question for better or worse. So uh, message me on Instagram anytime. Thank you guys as always for watching. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. Peace.